Mike Lindell was uh, in Colorado downtown. He was looking to uh, downtown Denver, I believe. He was looking to make sure he shows this election uh, fraud that happened in 2020. It's the only thing he ever thinks about. Uh, as he was leaving the stage, maybe he was going up to the stage, um, a man showed up and uh, gave him a bit of a gift. Watch this. <laughs> right. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for everything. What is this? Sir, what, sir, what is this? It's for you. Okay, well, what is it? It's not for me. It's not for me. It's for you. Okay, I, I need you to open. I don't that, is, that is a full document right there, sir. Oh, it is. Okay. If you couldn't tell, he said those are court documents for you there, Mike. So uh, what is happening as we already know, Mike Lindell is already up for multiple lawsuits, defamation from uh, Dominion Voting Systems for how he consistently talks about how they rigged the election. This particular one is from a former employee of Dominion, Eric Coomer, and he's suing Lindell for defamation. Let's look at this. Uh, Dr. Coomer has had an onslaught of harassment and credible death threats issued against him. He is at risk in his home or, or in going to work. His presence puts his uh, family, friends, colleagues, and his community in danger. The results of the defendant's ongoing conduct are foreseeable and obscene. The conduct is so outrageous in character and extreme in degree as to go beyond all possible bounds of decency. It should be regarded as atrocious and determined, and determined intolerable in, a, in a, a, a civilized community. So he has an extra lawsuit uh, to deal with, you guys. Uh, Maz, first of all, I want <laughs> the handoff is my favorite part. Uh, he walks up, rolls in, he thinks he's gonna get a gift from a supporter, and instead he's like, what's this guy? It's actually, bro. You've been served, except he didn't dance his way out of the scene. I wish he had. What a beautiful video. I mean, you know, this week, my favorite thing I saw was Katanji Brown Jackson being, uh, you know, getting nominated and getting the Supreme Court justice. This is my second favorite video of the week, easily. I mean, that's beautiful. Brilliant the way he does it. Funny how he takes it. And I'm sure in a minute, he's like, what? You got to, he, he asked the guy to open it as if he thinks like there's anthrax in there or something. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, it's not anthrax. You just got served. I, and I wish the guy would have said that. The guy should have had like a racket and been like, you just got served. And then we're like, see ya. Um, but by the way, Mike Lindell, I mean, again, that's another guy I really feel sorry for. I don't know. I've never tried his pillows, but I think he should try another pillow brand just to see if it'll help his head like get a little more sane. He clearly those. My pillows drive you crazy, um, so <laughs> I mean well I don't know. Is there is there is there a company out there called Your Pillow? <laughs> it's called My Lawsuit. Uh, what what are your thoughts, Ben? Before we get out of here, yeah, I mean I guess like Republicans love. I'm surprised <laughs> that this has happened. I'm surprised that this has happened. To be honest, right? Like to actually get like a defamation lawsuit against a Republican because like Republicans do this kind of stuff all the time. They will pick a random person. They will say horrific things about them. They'll mobilize their entire base to send them very, very hateful, vitriolic things. And it is very, very rare that anybody gets served. Um, so yeah. seeing this is a, I think, a very cathartic moment for I think a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah, especially since he was so surprised by it. I mean, again, I, I mean, I, I guess I could see a little bit of the worry about the anthrax, as you mentioned, Maz. But hey, once it's there, it's there. And by the way, he went on his show like the next day and started going off on Eric Coomer as if that was a good idea when you have a defamation lawsuit coming your way and he starts talking about how drunk he gets. Uh, don't know if you want to do that.